Our team has modified a full-face snorkel mask to protect providers against both airborne particles as well as droplets. The mask is reusable and will function both as a face shield as well as a N95 equivalent respirator. We modified the full-face snorkel mask by adding a 3D-printed custom-fit adapter to the top outlet. This will then be connected to a hospital-grade HEPA filter with 99.99 .99 filtration efficiency against both viral and bacterial particles. Inhaled air will enter the mass through the adapter and filter. Exhaled air will be released into the environment through the one-way check valve at the mouth or chin area. We have conducted quantitative fit testing, CO2 accumulation testing, usability testing, as well as decontamination testing to improve our design. We are also working on a microphone design to improve communication through our provider snorkel mask. Our mask will function as a stopgap solution to protect providers, including doctors, nurses, and other hospital and community-based healthcare providers against this pandemic. We've also adapted a snorkel mask for use for patients requiring non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. This design first came out in Italy and was used in hospitals across Europe. The adapter has an inspiratory and expiratory arm that can be connected to a respiratory flow supply and a HEPA filter, respectively. Air will be given to the patient through the inspiratory arm, and all exhaled air will be filtered by the HEPA filter before being released into the environment. While mechanical ventilation is a potentially life-saving therapeutic option, some patients may not need such invasive ventilation strategies and may benefit from non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, such as Optiflow, CPAP, and BiPAP. However, these strategies are not being routinely used in a hospital setting due to concerns of aerosolization of viral particles. We are optimizing our design by conducting pressure and flow leak tests in order to ensure that the seal around the mask is robust, thus improving patient outcomes while mitigating the spread of viral particles to patients and providers.